or a library, so they just did both. Uh, it is arguably the tallest building in all of Juno, and that is because they say it has the most stories. Uh, <laughs> oh, you guys are going to be fun. <laughs> All the way back also, uh, if you have any questions about the sh uh, shopping areas, I'll be free. Good question. It might open up later on, maybe. But I'm counting, I counted 49 heads, just 49 people. I counted like three times, like, okay, someone is missing. So, I'm asking the people on the bus, which I thought was kind of weird, because usually people don't really travel up here alone. Generally, it's in either a group of two or just a group. So I'm asking like, the passengers, like, hey, uh, is anyone missing anyone? And no one's saying anything. So I'm like, okay, they're just, I guess they got lost. So it's coming down his face. So she goes to the back. And we're going back. It's a little awkward. Like, the bus is kind of quiet. You can hear him arguing in the back. I'm just kind of going through my tour a little bit. <laughs> so I'm just doing, doing my best. So we get back to the, the dock where I dropped. Hands me a hundred bucks. Says, <laughs> that was the best 20 minutes of my life. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. <laughs> so <laughs> moral of the story is you never know what you're going to see up here. <laughs> oh man, I think that was like my, my uh, yeah, that was my third week up here last week. Alright, so we got about a 25 minute drive, or probably closer to 20 minutes, over to the hatchery. There we'll have about 35 minutes, you can explore the area, get the tour, and then after that I'll take you back to the cruise ship.